Hi you guys, it's me Be Unique. Welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hello and welcome if you're returning. You know you guys are awesome. So today's video, I'm, I'm a little late to the game with this video, but today's video is all about House Labs Atomic Shake Liquid Long Wearing Liquid Lipstick. Why okay, you guys? So th these liquid lippies, let me tell you. I was on Facebook, scrolling, minding my own business, and I saw a real I don't know if it was a real I don't know it's you know when you scroll and you just see these random videos well it was a gentleman and he was reviewing these lippies and he was like what the color's still there and showing like everything and I was like tell me more so I watched like the whole video and I bought three 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 of them they have six shades currently so I only have three out of the six um let's let's get down let's read it let's let, let's see what it what it entails <laughs> so apparently i was living underneath a rock because i had no idea that these existed until i seen this video and by then these have already been out um and then now i'm filming this video so it's at least a year or more i don't i don't even know but on sephora's website which is where i purchased these from with my own money um they are 26 dollars a piece um again they have six shades they have the rosewood shine sepia shine rose shine which is the one i have and i have sepia and then a ruby shine which is a blue red lady gaga's go-to apparently um huh so i did not get cherry shine red coral or the rosewood which now i'm so tempted to do just because these shades are gorgeous i'm not gonna lie and they are my jam they are my jam um hands down so we know that they're 26 dollars a piece we know that they're six shades um let's see the highlights for this product high shine finish which as you can see i am wearing one of the shades right now i'm actually wearing the shade i want to say coral but it's not sepia shine the bottle fooled me um they are supposed to be long wearing fragrance free cruelty free and waterproof fragrance free i will say it has a scent not a scent that's immediately like i'm gonna kick you in your face scent but if you smell the applicator there is some kind of a smell there it's not very strong but it is there i don't know what it is um what they're claiming about their product is that it's revolutionary clean transfer proof liquid lipstick that delivers uh, high impact color with a glossy vinyl finish that lasts all day. Um, you have to shake this really well before application, um, which I did not know. Um, and then once it's applied, separate your lips and you're going to make funny faces and let it dry for at least 15 seconds. That way everything can activate and do what it's supposed to do. Um, highlighted ingredients, a flexible film forming polymer that is supposed to deliver a breathable weightless feel, which I will agree. Um, it contains marine algae extract with, uh, that's supposed to help smooth and nourish lips to enhance the appearance of natural lip volume. And it's supposed to have a shine boost, provides paint like shine and adherence. So we know what's in it. We know what it's supposed to do. Let's get on to swatches and lips. immediately opening up the first shade that is the tone that we're setting here so again house labs i don't use house labs this is like my first house labs testing product um the red one is called ruby shine okay so the doe foot is very short it's rounded up at the top um hmm it has a smell it's it's very faint i mean you don't smell it unless you're trying to smell it you know but i always like to know these things it almost smells minty i don't know so again the, this one stop shop over here oh my god look how wow that's actually really pretty Ooh, okay i could still see this like for date night so ruby something ruby shine and i i think the the swatch lived up to its name for sure the next one i'm going to go swatch is rose shine 
The packaging is very modern. And I like how you could see the colors of your lip gloss. Like, you know, obviously it's not the gloss itself. It's just like a coated something. Maybe it is a gloss. I don't know, but I like that I could see the color. Um, you know me, I love pink. So this is Rose Shine. It has the same smell as the first one and it's almost chemically smelling like a chemical. I don't know. Hmm. What? So that's the Rose Shine swatched. I like, so far looking at the swatches, the Ruby. Um, that's interesting. I wonder if I was supposed to shake these. Let me look really quick. Hmm. It doesn't say... Oh my God, trying to do anything with nails is a pain. Shake well. You are supposed to shake these. Okay, so I am going to re-swatch this and the red one. Let me wipe these off before they dry. So that's what that area looks like uh, with a swipey. Oh, okay. So there is something inside. Marine algae. Okay, so do not open upside down. Apply an even layer to each lip. Perfect application while still wet. Allow to dry for 10 to 15 seconds without blotting. Allow color and shine to set for comfortable all day wear. Remove with an oil-based makeup remover and cleanser. I don't know. The fact that I was able to wipe this off already, but I didn't shake it, so maybe that's... Okay. Going in with Ruby Shine. I, even though it, I shook it, I, I still have to smell it. The smell is still there. Um, Ruby Shine, the swatch didn't change for me anyway. That is Ruby Shine swatched. And I'm going to go in with Rose. Well, the first time I swatched Rose, it was a little spotty. But I think that's just the formula. It, it still swatched the same. Oh, I got stuff all over my... Uh, that is that color swatch we have ruby and the rose shine the last one is sepia shine Oof. of course you know me i got like the most neutralist let's you know my my palette guys i don't typically venture off much this is what it looks like in the bottle this is what it looks like it's corally so for summer and springtime, I feel like that would be very nice to wear. Shake, shake, shake. Okay. And we're just going to... What the heck? Okay, that's what it looks like. The other colors were more pigmented on the doe foot. That is like barely nothing. I'm going to shake this one more time. That's odd. Maybe I didn't shake it enough? Okay. No, it, it still looks the same. That's weird. And it has this weird smell. Okay, this one almost looks streaky. I do like the color. It's not as pigmented as this color. That's what that looks like. Isn't that odd? I honestly thought this was going to be the color of the bottle like the first two were. I'm going to swatch it again. No, it's still giving me the same vibes. I'm going to swatch it on this side. Okay, so, hmm. I thought maybe it was because I wiped the other colors first, you know, because I didn't shake it, but it's still the same. These are the colors swatched. These two here are the same color that is coral shine. I'm sorry, sepia shine. I don't know why I thought it was, it was coral shine. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to go in with sepia shine. It's kind of the most dialed down tone color. Um, with the look, you know, I don't want to be looking too crazy. So I am going to wipe this off. Actually, I'm going to let it sit first and then we'll be able to test the other colors and see how they hold up. Um, okay. So I'm going to go in with the sepia. I, I was going to say coral because when I look at it, it reminds me of a coral. Okay. 
Shaky, shaky. Here we go. Shaky, shaky, eggs and bakey. This smell is so weird. It's almost the color of my natural lips. That's yeah, it weird. It feels very cooling. Then every time I swipe it, it's cooling. Like I, I actually kind of like that. Okay. Now we're just gonna let it sit. Ooh, the shine is there. Like the impact, it's there. It is there, let me tell you. Immediate first impressions looking at it, it's really pretty. It feels very nice on the lips. I would be really surprised if this lasts all day. I'm not gonna do a wear test. This is just a swatch and first impressions type of video. Um, because I mean, if it holds up, if the color holds up after swiping, I unless you're eating oily, greasy foods, it's not gonna budge. So, so these have been sitting for a little minute and you can kind of see the texture has changed on the back of my hand. It looks almost set. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to wipe the Ruby Shine because that was the first one we did apply. And I'm gonna use a clean side of this paper towel. So this is before. Okay, I just wanna make sure I'm actually like swiping it. Oh, ew. I got, okay, so I got the other color by accident. I was, that was not intentional. Um, and that color did not set. That was the last color, so, you know. But I mean, as I'm wiping that other color, it's still, there's still color there. So I'm gonna use a new paper towel. I already wiped Ruby Shine and a little bit of the Rose Shine. This one I put on really thick, so I don't think that's dry yet, but Ruby Shine is still there. I'm gonna, let me just wipe this again. So here it is. And I'm pressing hard. Okay. So you can definitely see that product was removed. It doesn't look as thick and op opaque, right? I think that's the word I'm looking for. Um, but the color is still there. I don't know. I'm still wiping. Okay, yeah, I don't know what that is. So as I'm wiping, I don't know if you guys can see this up here. It's almost like peeling. I don't know how else to describe that. So I don't, I'm assuming that's the lip gloss itself. Um, hmm. I don't know. I mean, granted, I don't see anyone wiping as hard as I am, but I mean, the fact that it's peeling like that still is a little off putting. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and wipe the sepia one and just see, even though it did not set cause it was really wet that if it doesn't set, it's still there. Um, not as better as the other two because they had more time to set and they weren't as thin as a uh, application or thick as an application. I'm just really just gonna wipe and continue wiping and I wanna see, wow, okay, that's still there. I'm getting lipstick and stuff all over my hands, but they're still on my hand and I'm actually really surprised because I thought they weren't gonna be. So now I'm interested to know if they'll come off with like a disinfectant wipe or something. Hmm. Let me, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab something. Okay, so I have a baby wipe and a wet one, right? Yeah, wet one. It's like a disinfect, uh, uh, hand sanitizing uh, wipe. So I'm just gonna say, I know I had lip gloss on this side of my hand. Let me see if the baby wipe kind of, mm, a little bit. So this is the baby wipe. I'm gonna go in here. This is the baby wipe. It's coming off, but I mean, it's, it's a struggle. Like it almost feels greasy. Like there's something pulling on the baby wipe or on the back of the hand. So that's interesting. Now that's a baby wipe granted. So I'm going to go in now with my wet one. Let's see if I remove this one on this a little bit better, but hmm. So here are my lip glosses. I'm just going to go into the rose shine with this. And yeah, no, I mean, it's coming off, but it's coming off, but it's like, I gotta scrub it. All right, that's it. I'm going in. Okay. 
Can you guys hear that? That's how hard I'm scrubbing my, my hand at this point. Wow. I mean, that's... One came off, but... The other is still on there. So I'm wondering if the formulas are slightly different because of the pigments or whatever they're using for the actual color. Because the red one, she she don't want to leave. She don't want to go nowhere. Um, good thing, bad thing. I'll leave that up to you guys, honestly. <laughs> it's been, so it's been a few minutes, maybe one or two minutes since uh, application on the lips. Now, as it stands, the way it feels, it's weird because like on the outer edges of my lips, it does feel like something. I can't describe it. I can't put my finger on it but I feel that it's there. It's not a bad feeling. I guess it feels wet, like tacky almost. I don't know. Again, I don't know how to describe it, um, but I definitely can feel that there is something on my lips versus wearing a um, uh, liquid lippy where it's dry and it just, it, that's it. You don't feel anything like it. I almost feel movement, not necessarily movement. I don't know if that's the right word. I don't know if I'm making sense, you guys. I apologize if I'm, if I'm not. Um, but I definitely feel it. It does feel very moisturizing on the lips. It still feels like a lip gloss. It doesn't feel sticky, tacky. It doesn't feel oily. Um, it just feels moisturizing, hydrating for sure. So now the question is, after it's sit on your lips, is it is it, is it gonna kiss on my hand? Is it gonna transfer to the back of my hand? Um, and if it does, is there still product on my lips? That's the question. And then we'll try to find a clean. <gasps> okay. I, I still got some white paper towel, so we're going to use that oh, as well. Let's we'll just block. do the kiss test and see what happens. Okay. I just want to make sure that's like the, as clean as it goes. <gasps> oh, 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 okay. So. Obviously this transfer from the outer rim and I mean very smidge and then the inner portion of my lips um, I don't know if you guys can, can you see that? So it's basically like an outline of my lips. I'm impressed. I'm already impressed. I'm not gonna lie I wonder if this would like stick. All right, we're gonna do the hair test <gasps> Oh Okay, it didn't really stick I mean, okay, it's there. It's there. That this, if, if it came off right away, then it would have passed that little test. Um, so yeah, no, I would definitely wear this with my hair up in some sort of way where my hair's not blowing in my face. Um, but yeah, so, hmm, it's still there. And with that test here, it still feels the same. It, it didn't change the texture on my lips. Uh, one lippy that did do that was the One Size Beauty. Um, I found that the lip gloss, as I wiped it, or whatever, what may, it got very sticky the more I wiped. So I don't know if that's a formula thing or whatever, um, but yeah, and this is not eating friendly either. It's, you, everything's gonna be slipping and sliding unless you use a, a lip liner and I don't use lip liners. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna go in with the paper towel and I'm gonna blot it and I'm gonna see Okay, so it's stuck to the paper towel. Did you guys see that? Color's still there. Um, this is what the paper towel's looking like. That's my blot right there. I'm not too surprised with the paper towel, but I will say the fact that it's still on my lips, the texture feels the same. My lips don't feel sticky. They feel, they feel the same as if like I just applied the lip gloss and nothing changed. So I, I really do like that. And there is still color on my darn lips, you guys. So wow. I like this. I really didn't think I would like it. I could tell that the, the pigmentation dialed down a bit since the blot with the paper towel, but not in a bad way. I actually really like this color too. So now I'm curious. Ooh, I'm so curious. Should I try? I'm going to try and, ooh, I don't know. Hmm. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reapply and see if anything changes. So let's just say you're not satisfied with the way it looks and you feel like you need a touch up. Okay. Let's see how that goes. It stills. I don't know why I can't talk. It still feels 
the minute you put it on your lips cooling like okay wow look at the difference the minute you put this on the shine is like kapow okay let's give it a couple seconds with lips separated <laughs> all right so that was roughly 15 seconds um we're gonna do a little test so i obviously did not leave my mouth open enough but considering that's the only thing that's there i i ain't hating it so you just got to make sure your lips are open which not every product you get is going to be perfect we'll just leave, leave it at that final thoughts on the atomic shake long lasting liquid lipstick i didn't know it was a liquid lipstick i thought it was a lip gloss see i don't even remember the things i buy half the time so i like this yes 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 a liquid lippy with a shine moisturizing you don't need two steps okay this is another thing i liked the concept of this a liquid lippy with a lip gloss on top you know it didn't it transferred but not really um didn't hate it liked it but didn't love it okay these I want to buy every color. I want to buy the other three colors. I'm not going to lie. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. And I haven't even gotten to wear this for like five or so hours. But just to know that it's transfer, transfer proof. You know what I'm saying? Like you saw the tests. You saw them. And it works. It does what it's supposed to do. I am so glad that I found this gentleman reviewing these on Facebook as I'm scrolling because if I hadn't seen that I would have never known these ex existed and I never would have I never would have purchased them. Those are my purchased. thoughts you guys. You heard it. It is approved. I like it. Try for yourself. Gather your own opinions. Um, but if you have made it this far in the video and you have not done so already, please give me a thumbs up. It helps out my channel. It helps push out my content out there. And if you have not already as well, sting that subscribe button. Come join my little beehive here with me. Help me pollinate my videos anywhere you can think of. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, your mom, your favorite, your friend, your neighbor, your whoever. And hopefully I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>